Despite the rising cases across the country, officials in Los Angeles County now say they plan to relax some local restrictions so they're more in line with the rest of California. News Station correspondent Nancy Liu live for us in Santa Monica tonight to explain. Hi, Nancy. Hi there, Joe. Unlike much of the country, COVID hospitalizations are down in California, and the rate of transmission is either steady or down in many counties. While LA County remains in the state's highest, most restrictive tier, health officials are now allowing some welcome modifications. It has been incredibly difficult. It's a whole new skill set of learning how to just re. It's just a whole different worry. But today, there is less worry for bar manager Kelly Potter over one operating restriction in L.A. County. After tomorrow, establishments will be allowed to serve alcohol without requiring customers to order food as well. It will definitely help increase business a lot. Um, not everybody needs to go out and have a meal and a drink, but everybody just kind of wants to get out. And have a cocktail, so that also eases the quarantine stress as well. While broad reopenings are not on the horizon yet, LA County is relaxing some guidelines which were more stringent than the state's. Wineries and breweries can again offer sit down service without requiring reservations. Officials are holding firm on having all kids returning to school buildings, but capacity of up to 25% is now allowed for children with disabilities or language issues. One of our most critical tasks is maintaining our case rates so children can return to school. Along with the state, we have prioritized children with special needs and the English learners as the most in need of in-person teaching. L.A. County boasts the state's largest population with well over 10 million people, so it is many who are welcoming slightly looser restrictions. Our numbers are not like we were expecting to, but we're still here. People are still being supportive, and hopefully we can go through the winter with no damage. Our uh, reduction in case rates and our ability to move forward has really hinged on the fact that Californians are, for the most part, taking this pretty seriously and being careful. Pulmonologist Dr. Russell Bohr is confident county officials will clamp down again should cases spike, which could happen with cooler weather and the holidays fast approaching. Some of these decisions are driven by data and not just our collective COVID fatigue of wanting to get out of the situation we're in. And Look, I will totally agree. I'm, I'm COVID fatigued too. I've been eating, breathing, and sleeping this virus since March. Um, and we would love to get back to that place, but we have to get there safely. Dr. Boris says California's climate does help since people can spend more time outdoors and socially distanced. But again, LA County remains in the state's highest, most restrictive tier due to case rates. Today, officials announced 18 new deaths. That is down from 33 the day before. We're live in Santa Monica. Nancy Liu, News Nation.